if you are to buy a minoxidil over the counter i would say that choose only hey guys more sun here <clears throat> Oh my gosh. Hey guys, Moisan here and welcome back again to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Moe and I do contents about basic nursing and skincare and hair care. So guys, for today's video, we're gonna do a debunking of this popular minoxidil product in the Philippines and if it is safe to use this for hair growth and to reduce hair fall. So without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> So guys, the product that I am talking about is the Hosoku Minoxidil 15%. Okay, let me be very clear guys. In Canada and in US and I think some part in Europe, the only approved percentage of Minoxidil is the 2% and 5%, okay? Which comes in foam and the solution. So this 15%, I'm currently reading it right now. This 15% is I find it it's a big percentage. I'm, I, I'm, I'm very scared actually to recommend this to you guys, okay? I'm not a doctor, I am a nurse but of course based on what I'm seeing right now with 15% and I think people or companies are putting a higher dose because they think that the higher the dosage the more hair growth you get which is for me it's very misleading and falsy this product has 15% with castor oil and collagen castor oil guys does not have sufficient evidence to regrow hair I have done a video about castor oil and guys it's very misleading that it causes hair growth it it will make your hair oily and it does not get absorbed on the skin okay so don't get misled by that and another thing is collagen really collagen even if you drink collagen guys i wanted to make it clear even if you drink collagen it does not lift up your skin it does not make you produce collagen okay because collagen is big to be absorbed in the gut and also on the skin so i want to be very clear on that so don't get misled by all this junk I'm so sorry. I do see a lot of reviews about Hoso Hosoku. Hosoku. Hosoku Minoxidil. And they said that, you know, of course, all the positivities, all the hair growth result and whatever. Probably it works for them. But one thing that I am pretty nervous about or I'm pretty concerned about is that you guys have to remember that Minoxidil is a blood pressure medication it was once an oral medications and it still is actually some doctors probably still prescribes it minoxidil is an anti-hypertensive medication which causes your blood pressure to go down so applying it on your scalp may affect your heart rate it can also lower your blood pressure and take note guys even on a two percent percentage and the five percent you still have to be very cautious of irregular heart rate lower blood pressure it may also cause dizziness rashes all these side effects and 15% that is beyond what is proved by the FDA so you guys have to be very very careful if you are to buy a minoxidil over the counter I would say that choose only the 2% and F and the 5% as those are the two percentage that we do have a lot of studies and approved by most dermatologists and if you are looking for something higher than that like such as 6% which I have seen in the Philippines and I did a video on that also and something like 15 percent you better ask your board certified dermatologist if it is safe okay guys let me tell you the higher the dosage of the medication specifically with minoxidil does not guarantee hair growth and does not guarantee prevention of hair loss so please be very very careful what you're applying on your scalp and you make sure that you always have to go through a medical professional to be safe So guys, I'm not scaring you or anything like that, but I'm just giving facts about what is uh, what the medication is for, what the medication is, and the, the side effects that you can get, okay? So please, be very safe. And aside from that, Hosoku, I don't know where you can buy this medication. I heard that you can get it from where? Lazada, you can get it from Shopee, which is, I, I don't know, I kind of don't trust these sites when it comes to you know medication, supplements, and things like that. As I mentioned in my previous video, 
video about buying Finasteride in Lazada and Shopee. You can get your school supplies, your housewares, or whatever from Shopee and Lazada. It's a good online store. However, supplements and medications, I kind of don't, don't trust, okay? So guys, please, 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 please be careful with a high percentage medication. So guys, I hope that you learned something from this video. If you have any further questions or suggestions, please leave it in the comment section down below. Follow me on my Instagram, Facebook page, and TikTok as I am pretty active on those platforms as well. And guys, don't forget to give it a like, turn on that notification bell for more updated videos such as this one, and share it with your friends and families. At magkikita-kita ulit tayo on my next hair care and skincare videos. Bye-bye!